Hey, hey folks, Beanie81 here, and I'm back with more Final Fantasy VIII. In this episode, we're heading to the orphanage um, in which five of the six members of our party grew up. Um, hopefully, to find some clue as to why their old, kind matron mother uh, has turned into the evil Sorceress Edia and is now trying to take over the world. So. We'll head up. Um, the orphanage is on the kind of. If you look at the map, map there, it's right on the bottom part of the map. Uh, doo -doo -doo. On the kind of southwest side of that bottom island. If I remember rightly, I may be completely wrong here. I've not checked the map, so uh, I may be wrong. That is something we'll check out much, much later on. Unfortunately, we can't um, do anything with it uh, just yet. I say unfortunately. It's probably a very good thing because oh, I hate that place so much. I really do. It's of the. It's probably the. It's, there's probably two places in this game I haven't done the um, like completed 100% to the finish, and that is one of them. Um, the other one I haven't done just not because it's. Um, well, it is difficult. It's probably one of the most difficult parts of the game. But um, the main reason I haven't done it is because I haven't done that last place. Like, it's my OCD nature. I'd rather complete everything so I usually get um, bored of trying and f failing that uh, area we've just passed a ton of times and end up just giving up on the g game for a couple of months by the time I um, want to come back to it I just want to uh, start from the beginning again this place looks familiar Oop. oops Okay, well, that place that looks familiar, I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to be going. So I'm not sure why, boom, not sure why it's not letting me in. But, we'll have a drive around and see what else we can find. And down goes the whatever the fuck it is. We seem to be fighting them. Uh, yeah, I seem to be coming across those a lot. I fought them outside Travia as well, which is on the other side of the world, so... Then again, I suppose if it's a, considering it's a globe, then it's not as far away as I made it. Uh, what's that? Ooh! Squall, take a look. What do you think? They probably know we're here too. If not, we'll make the first move. The battle is inevitable. The sorceress is with them, huh? So this is going to be the final battle? I hope so. What should I do first? I have to give orders to everybody. It's my responsibility. I have to try and keep it simple. If I give out too many orders, it could lead to chaos. What should I say? Come on, think. There's no time. Oh, let's see. Let's explain what the, what's happening first. Um, let's get the attack ready. Hmm. What to do with that? No, wait. D I don't think we need to explain what we need to do with the hot dogs. Take care of the junior classmen. And... Whew. We need to keep it brief. No time for his feelings. Give out your orders when you're ready. This is Squall speaking. This is an emergency, so listen carefully. We're going into battle against Galbadi Garden. The garden will proceed straight ahead. Set speed at 50% in case we need to take evasive maneuvers. First and second class sabers assemble in the parking lot. Those with MG rank 3 or above, head for the second floor deck and await instructions. Be sure to warm up. Those who have student ID numbers ending with an 8, take care of the junior classmen. I think that was a bit unnecessary. People tend to get a little wild in battle. They just need to hear what's necessary. Yeah, I didn't realise that the um, first thing he was going to say was that course and speed and such. But anyhow, any orders for the defence team? And of course, that's what I forgot. What am I thinking? The enemy will probably come aboard. We must concentrate our forces at the front gate and the quad. If your student ID number is even, report to the quad. If it's odd, report to the front gate. Come on, Squall! Uh, 
that sounds like my party's here. I thought I was part of the gang. Sorry about that. Why am I always the odd man out? Woohoo! God vs. Sorceress! The final battle! This is so exciting! What do you want us to do? I want you guys to help me lead the others. When Zell gets here, we'll divide into two teams. Zell, um, I think he's taking a nap. Yeah, he said he hasn't slept at all lately. What? Oh, yeah. What do I think people are hiding things? What are you guys talking about? Nothing. It's our little secret. What's he doing? We don't have any time. I'm going to go check out the quad. Who's coming with me? That'll be... No. Quit sis. And selfie. I believe they're already junctioned up, but I'll double check. Irvine, find Zell. You guys work together and lead the team at the front gate. Alrighty. We still have some time, so don't bother equipping your GF yet. Uh, Alright, let's get to the quad. I think that is probably basically him saying, you know, let's limit our use of the GF so that we don't take the complete hit of to our memories. But I see no. Re hey, what about Renoa? Renoa, you guys take care of her. But yeah, I think you know this could easily take a quick turn. So I'd rather you know not be s taken by surprise. Let's keep the GFs on us. Uh, weren't we heading to the quad? What are you doing? What's your status? Indirect magic operative, level two, sir. You're a first class MG. Report to the deck immediately. Yes, sir. And you three? What about you guys? FL trainee. FL three trainee. Fire platoon. Level three trainee, sir. Fire. FL one trainee. There. Fire platoon. Level one trainee, sir. Rescue team A. Medic, sir. You two head for the deck. Medic, report to the defense team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Probably could have just read that once, but uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a loyal to it. I uh, do what needs to be done. Apparently. Uh, report to your positions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where's that kid going? Oh, he's in there. You folks alright in here? I'm scared a little. I can't do it. I'm too nervous. Being nervous will reduce your fighting ability by 20%. Just relax. Um, look, I finally mastered the Fireiger class magic. Pay attention or you're going to burn yourself. Wow, Fireiger magic for a... That's pretty impressive. Hmm. Well, let's... Ah, what am I... Duh. So this way... How did you get all the way over there? We were literally in the classroom behind us a minute ago. Can't get out there. I don't know why it dropped us off on this floor. I think we need to head back to the elevator and head down to the quad. Maybe Skull was just wanting to check that people were following his orders, which is completely fair enough. And actually probably quite a good idea, considering we found four people standing on... Actually, we found six people we need to send on their way. Let's go to the first floor. And... Looks like people are... Prepping the defences here. Okay. I'm so excited to serve on your team. This way. Looks like this is getting very defensive. Um, they're standing aside to let those who are important pass, but in a position where they can easily jump into the line. You guys are over here. Back up at the advanced guards. Hmm, found Zell. He's not taking a nap at all. Alright, listen up. This is the big one, guys. We gotta win, no matter what. And he's taking charge. Sup, Squall? I got this place covered. Yeah, you do. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, uh, yeah. Your announcement woke me up. My student ID is even, so I'm supposed to be here, right? Yo, Squall, come here for a sec. It's about your ring. This might not be the time, but... What is it? Give me your ring, will ya? I just want to borrow it for a while. 
I won't lose it or anything. Come on, what do you say? Why do you need it? Uh, I can't tell you that. Come on, just give it to me. You can trust me. What the hell? I like this ring. I guess it's alright if he just wants to borrow it? What, what, what is happening right now? This is... You, you do realise there's a, uh, you know, the glam... The bit of the army is just around the corner. Don't lose it. Yeah, thanks, man. I didn't think you were going to give me this to me. Renoa's going to be so happy. Renoa? Alright, Squall. Leave this place up to me. So, so like, where were you? Guys, I'm going to fight too. I don't want to just hide. I know I can fight. I want to fight alongside everyone. I hope this is the last time we have to fight in our home. Oh, there's Renoa. I have to fight, to prove to myself that I can do it, that I belong with you guys. Take care of yourself. Alright, we can see she can help hold her own in a fight, so... Squall, get back to the bridge right now. Zell, I'm counting on you. Good luck, everyone. Time to get it on! Look. Cypher's in charge over there. They're heading right for us. Just keep going. Okay, this is a pretty awesome way to uh, invade a garden, I've got to say. It does, doesn't seem like a particularly defensive one, though. Like, motorbikes aren't, that, aren't particularly... Um, I suppose they're mobile for getting on, but still, it seems like you could take them out a lot easier than you can. The enemy garden is right by us. Quad team, watch out. Go straight ahead to the left. We can't, we've got to stop them from coming in. Don't forget to equip your GF. You guys will switch. Uh, we'll do it this way. And we will give you some potions. But yeah. Not going to peel them to full. This way. Come on, come on. Dead ahead, come on. Oh, yeah. Renoa, there you go. Um, guy, I got it from Squall. Like I said, I'll make you one just like it. Till then, hold on to it for me, will ya? What did you say to him? <laughs> I just told him to hand it over. It looks cool, but it's too big. It's not like you're going, going to wear that one. Come on, let's go. I feel like this is a teen drama work rather than an action flick. <laughs> okay, suddenly back to being an action flick. Uh... Damn it! I can't reach her! Let's find something to pull her up. Renoa, hold on, we'll be right back. We need to find some rope or something. Oh, oh god! <sighs> Come on, is there anything we can use? Uh, it's potato, this, uh, stage and stuff isn't set up. I'm sure we'd have something if, like, rope, if there was um, 
if it was still set up. Uh, even if it was just wires or something. Then again, would wires be strong enough? They're in the base. They're in the garden. Let's take them. Switching Zell and Irvine's junctions around, actually. Zell already has a fairly decent strength due to the strength bonus uh, ability that he's had attached, whereas Irvine is hitting fairly weak at this point, even despite all the magic that's junction to his strength. We'll have a quick look after this fight. Maybe have a fiddle around. Boom! And down it goes. And... Achievable progress there on the corner screen. Um, let's have a quick look. Status. 59 strength to 94. What happens if I switch your junction around? He gets 86, and Zell gets 64. However, for saying that Zell is four levels lower than Irvine, it's showing him having a decent amount more strength than Irvine, so let's go with that. It's a little more evenly spread rather than one hitting high and one hitting relatively low. Huh, we need to find some rope or something. And... soldiers. Okay, take that guy out first, he's the weakest. Now let's take this green guy out. We're not seeing these ones for. And he's asleep. Okay, Zell hit fairly low there. He's doing the same amount of damage that uh, Irvine was doing, despite him having about 10 more strength. And Irvine is hitting relatively. Wow. Rather than kind of evening them out, it seemed more that I just reduced the highest damage by 500. Hmm. But, that said, the main point of swapping him over is to give Irvine the strength uh, bonus. Squall, they're coming in from the front gate. Quick. Let's head this way. And they're already in, we've just been fighting them. Squall, Renault is in trouble. We gotta hurry. Damn! Squall, listen up. The enemy is attacking the classroom. The junior classmen are there. We have to do something fast. The enemy is heading this way. Squall, did you hear me? Yeah, but she's not the only one in danger. Didn't you, th didn't you think you were so heartless, Squall? Renault is going to die. Don't you realise that? We have to divide into three groups. Who should come with me? Uh, selfie and Quixis. Irvine, you go with XU. Alrighty. Selfie, quit sis, come with me, we'll head for the classroom. Zell, you help Renoa. Do whatever it takes, alright? Leave it to me. Whoa! We're taking hits. But so are they, since they're hitting us by crashing into us. There we go. <laughs> Squall, go to the second floor classroom. The enemy is coming in from the sky. We're going to the second floor classroom. Come on. I think we're supposed to go to the second floor classroom right now. Second floor. Um, I may be wrong. Actually, I, I think we need to head to the balcony. The, uh, the deck. Is that what it's called? Come on. Maybe we'll just check in on the junior class and see what's happening. You know, that one said it could use fire egg magic, so uh, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. More of these green guys.
Whoa! Hi there. Alright, a bit of an abrupt ending here, folks. Sorry about this, but uh, I've been being on. This has been Final Fantasy VIII, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.